No. I can't remember. I remember. It was. Um, he remembers. I've got brain left. <laughs> it was about '68, and we were doing the beat club in Bremen, and we turned up about eight, silly o'clock, about eight o'clock in the morning or something. And uh, was it there? Yeah. And then Rog walks over, and like the Who, we were big Who fans anyway, because we were at 18, and then we'd got together when we were about 16, and we see like old stacks of Motown and you know, black R&B, and then The Who come out, and we were like, wow, that's a bit of us. So we used to do, um, if we played the Goldwater Club, which was The Who's home territory, <laughs> we did My Generation. So Rog walks over and says, oh, mate, and it's like, I don't know, about eight o'clock in the morning, I'm like, fucking hell, it's Roger. A bit of a, bit of a head turner for us. So we went off and did the, the Beat Club with the Oral Blue, which was, for us, was like, great because we were like 17 and, and it was and uh, Mooney and and Pete were on the brand he's taking doing all the German salutes and everything and the German <laughs> German camera crew were getting pretty irate and everything and we just got mates from there on really and he brings and he, me sticks of rock and I've been sticks of, of uh, <laughs> rock ever since I forgot about Beat Club the yeah, Beat Club Berman yeah what and were the, we doing I can see for miles I think you were yeah mm. yeah Oh, it's a long time ago. Yeah. And we've been mates ever since. He's like my big brother. Yeah, yeah. Thank God it's not your dad. <laughs> I, like, I like the way he sang. He was a good soul singer. So I, I recognise him for being a good singer. And then uh, we just got on. I just bought a house in the country, a little tiny cottage out in Berkshire. Yeah. And I invited him down. He came He came down. And we, we had some quite good, boozy yeah. and nights. Yeah. Having seances. Good days. Oh, yeah, seances. <laughs> there, yeah, we had a few seances. And his his uh, keyboard player. All people, a bit mad. It was all a bit mad. And, and and then on the way home, he crashed a car. Don't go home tonight, you will have a crash. And he's sitting there going, Ooh, and then he did he did have a crash. Who did? The keyboard player, Morgan. He was so, what, really? So, yeah, he was so worried that he actually had, had, a, he actually had a crash. But, yeah, we just... <laughs> Yes, madness. And then Rog thought um, the house he's got now, and I fell out with it, like split up this bird I'd been living with for a couple of years, and he said, I'll come down here. So, yeah. Yeah, I bought this house and it had a cottage. Well, yeah. it used to be a laundry. Yeah. And made a much better laundry than a cottage. Yeah. <coughs> Steve came and lived there. Um, and then that, that's the time that he'd met Zoot Money. Yeah. And he'd split from the love affair. Um, I was a bit confused. You were a little bit confused, My dazed team. and confused. Um, and we, we just fell into this area, which in those days was the middle of nowhere. And, uh, but down the road from where I lived was a little pub called The Kicking Donkey, yeah. which was an Irish pub right in the middle of East Sussex. With a pot belly stove in the middle. And with a pot belly stove, and they would play, play music all night if they mm. wanted to. So we just started going down there, Jolly and uh, Zoot Money came in. The guy had a Hammond organ in there. And he had a squeeze, we, big old squeeze yeah. box thing, was it? A concertina. Well, then we started jamming and having a laugh, and then Steve asked me to produce his record. Yeah. Which is when we started falling um, out. Rising on, rising, uh, that was your title, Riding on the Crest of a Slump. Riding on the Crest of a Slump. Rod said we should call it Riding on the Crest of a Slump, which seemed like a great title at the time. Because it was a time when... Misery when million. Yeah, we first heavy unemployment, yeah. Ted East government. Yeah. And uh, it was when people were really struggling for jobs. So we thought we'd call it that. Yeah, yeah. and the front cover was a picture, and I had a newspaper in the Misery Million. Misery Million. And he did a really good job on it. And all put yeah. up we sound like a couple of old parrots here. Yeah, I uh, know. And she's wandering all over the place. Hey, boy. <laughs> no, I'm anyway, up, we, we, I started producing, trying to produce them. But it's impossible to, to um, basically impossible to produce because he wouldn't listen. Uh, so we ended up, I, I did quite a few, most of the tracks actually, didn't you I? You did it all? I did it all. And then but they then, lost the masters? Yeah, and I said, oh, I can't take, take any more of this because he wouldn't sing as I wanted you. He wouldn't sing as I wanted you to. He, he was always in sharp notes. And he said, that's not sharp. I said, yes, it is. <laughs> But then I got perfect pitch. <laughs> 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 
Don't you remember? Yeah, I do, because you... Let's have a do it again. Do it again until you get the right note. I am singing the right note. No, you're not. It's a sharp. It's sharp. You, had the ro you kept doing the Rod Stewart sharp thing, didn't you? No, I don't do Rod Stewart. Thank God you did. You just wanted to be Rod Stewart, you know. I'm trying to make Rod you sing Stewart. like Steve Ellis and not Rod Stewart. But anyway, <laughs> you've forgotten that video. I'm so I'm Rod Stewart. See, look, he doesn't like it now, but in those days, he just. That's all you, you, all you do, did was you kept doing what Rod used to do, was sing sharp. And I thought, you don't need to do this, Steve. Your voice, you're a better singer than that. True. No, I, did, I, I don't. Apparently. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. Well, you did at the time. I used to try and sing so we, we, anyway, Sam we had, Cook or something. But we didn't fall out about it. I just said, well, I did the bloody thing yourself, then I walked away from it. Yeah, but it was all done. It was done. And I was only doing it as a mate anyway. I wasn't yeah. a serious record producer. I mean, I actually didn't get paid, did I? Uh, none you? of us did. <laughs> none of us did. But it was a good album. It was, it was a good, good album. album.